Hello and welcome back to Snowrun on our hard mode series. We are here in Alaska getting things done. Um, since the last episode I've just jumped over to the Royal to save us a little second. And we are heading off. We've got to go pick up our drill parts and take them to a factory. That is our jobby. We've pulled the drill parts through with the Derry Longhorn last time. Mind the stone, that's it. Why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how well the derry is going to do uh, with this job. So I think there's some bangers there. I miss it's going in or, in or out. I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, but yeah, we did, got the derry to go down. We dropped off the last of the oil canisters with the derry. Just because I wasn't confident in the royal getting down through Devil's Mud and not necessarily getting down there with the first, but coming back with this. I didn't think it would be actually this, so and that's why the the Derry called interaction. It was that, or pull through the White Western start, and I didn't want to have to do that yet. Not when we've got vehicles here that can do it. There we go. Right. So, let's go. Let's do our deliveries. The route we've got to take is probably awful, because we've got to get through that mud which is still a pain in the backside it's going to take us a few minutes and um, then we just got to get to the factory and then we can get some more fuel out of that let's, let's do it do it do it do it we've got our all-wheel drive on yep Like I said before, the train, the trains, the trains, the chains don't help us a great deal when going through some of this mud. We just dig. We dig, we dig, we dig. We just got to be patient with it. I'm not sure if I even said it last time, because um, I'm recording straight after. Uh, but I hope, hope you're all well. Thank you for coming back and joining me for this as we uh, try and get things done. You know, these episodes seem to probably have a, a fair bit of grumbling in them. I'm still, you know, still a bit downbeat about the whole <laughs> YouTube thing. But we are soldiering on. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that is going out. Um, I'm hoping by the time these come out, we're doing some live streams. I think this is definitely coming out after FS25 releases, so hopefully we've got some FS25 streams on the go by now. now I think if I if I am able to uh, reapply and get back into the YouTube partner program with this channel, I think watch time is going to be something we have to work on, uh, just because the content for two months pretty much would have been stuff that people aren't overly interested in because it'll mainly be this and old content so hopefully uh, the the live streams can uh, be helping us out i may also be live streaming over on twitch at the same time to try and get myself a little bit of pocket money over there because uh, we are affiliated over there i just had uh, connection issues for a while with twitch that's why we stopped doing it i like i like streaming on twitch it's more interactive and more viewer friendly than than YouTube, so But we need to make sure we get the watch hours here, so we have to have to stream there as well now I think. We'll see. If <laughs> if come uh, end of December December twenty eighth is when I can reapply, which is my mother's birthday, so you know that could be a gift to me. <laughs> my mother's birthday would be me being able to get back in the YouTube partner programme back to making a little bit of pocket money off of this content to try and help grow and improve and do things here games aren't free well some games are free but the ones I like playing aren't games aren't cheap and um, PCs and stuff aren't cheap either so getting it all to run and go fix pennies and uh, like I've said ever since the channel first got monetized we do not or I do not take money from anywhere else, like from from um, like the pot for our home to try and do anything here. So anything that happens here on the channel, 
happens because of uh, you know the money that comes in from you guys watching videos or to me you know stuff like that um, if you are so inclined we do have uh, donation links they've always been there I never really harp on about donations um, because it sounds like begging uh, but if you do want to donate and help the channel and help keep it going through this hard time there is a donation link down there and there's also you can buy me a coffee um, and Mr Farquhar merch is available we have our own our own line for um, SnowRunner in fact the Mother Trucker t-shirts I think we've sold one <laughs> <I've s> <laughs> out there someone has one of my old Mr Farquhar with a face on t-shirts and one Mother Trucker t-shirt so thank you so much for that um, I don't I, I set even with those like I, I always set my uh, membership prices as cheap as I could all my merch is set as cheap as um, spring will allow me we don't make a lot of profit on it pennies if that sometimes but it's just more to for a bit of fun like if people want to have it you can have it and I'll try and provide it as cheap as I can and then I can have like <laughs> 10 pence <laughs> Oh, we got there all right actually dealt with this load quite nicely so then we got to decide on what we're doing next so it might be it might be running down and just getting that big trailer oh i i, I left the um here's jimmy flobby gob there didn't i but we didn't, didn't need it there the uh, the dairy it's not going to change the uh, the hitch on it anyway good job we thought about that so there it is, another four grand. So we're up to 130, nearly 114,000. So that might buy me a truck for Russia. So we'll turn the engine off. So next up is this the oil tank. No, we're not doing it. Oh, I could, I could have a little shuffle around and, and sort that out. That one we could get back down. There's, I can't remember how much is in it. Or if we took any out of it, in fact, it's there. To fill up the, um... International. So what, what do we have? So I've got to try and get smarter with this. So it's five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Like, I don't mind not being like perfectly like 90, but I don't want to be given it back with like 300. You know, I need all, all that I can get really. So, five. So I, didn't want, I want to be able to move just a little bit. You know? You know? Five. Six. Seven. So now that might be too much, but we'll see. I'm going to try and do that small fuel trailer thing. That's what I'm going to do next. Get some of them little jobs done. At least the handbrake, that's my issue. <laughs> Even the gearbox is laughing at me. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's see if we can go balance this trailer thing out. Have that done. Did I select it as a job? the one yeah I didn't have a have a tanker to empty into at the start I don't think we just had the the big full one but now we've emptied some out just get this done get it ticked off that's right let's burst some tires
I think then I'm not going to forget about it. And we're using the load stuff quite a bit. And it is sort of a mobile mini fuel tank anyway. When we head through to uh, the other maps of the region, it will follow through with us. Channel. Get yourself all excited. If you have. Come on. Because then if I bring back the other half empty fuel trailer. The big one. Bring that on the Royal. No, I can't bring it on the Royal because we cut the crane. And I don't think they'll fit the crane. So yeah, maybe do a little shuffling with that. And then we could possibly deliver the other one as well. Have that job done. Just we finny and all that business. So let's have a look at what we got, shall we? So, oh, it's not got a lot in there anyway. Right, so. How much does it need? It needs to have 90. So that's done. See, now it's under. Wish I could... I wish you could just pick that. Oh, I want to take out 30 litres. I want to take out 50 litres. Right, so if I... All super awkward with this. So it's 100. I don't want. Oh. <clears throat> Why? Why do that to me? Now if I... It's 40. You absolute... <laughs> turd. You absolute turd. It's not going to let me wheel it right down, is it? No, it's not. It's not going to do it. Especially since I keep pressing the wrong button. There you go, that's bad. That'll do. Hey, I know. But I am really struggling with fuel. Yeah, 
you know, all that for grand. And, you know, <laughs> 550 litres of fuel. Oh, it's done. It's a job done. Tick it off the list. You should be able to get up here, all right? You might not see it, but our, our tyres have little studs. Want to see them? So cool. I think I've moved my chair in between recordings because I feel like I'm sitting so close to my mono. Wonder if that'll help <laughs> in any way. Sit so close, I'll see the danger before it's here. After all, danger never takes a day off. You know if you know. And had a horrible feeling that I hadn't hit record. I have. We're all good. That would be terrible. So I don't even know where the saves are kept. <laughs> I couldn't even find one. See if they roll back. I've said this before. I don't even, I don't even think there is. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the saves are for this. So, what we'll then do is just check the jobs list first. We'll do just check the jobs list first. Right, so for here. We've got the float and drill. Pipeline repair, Pedro Bay. Um, obviously, that's, they're all locked. So until we've done the drill, we can't really do much else for them. For the mining, it's service hub, which is Pedro Bay. Might be a nice one to get done early as well. And then here we have White Valley, White Valley, Mountain River. Mount River, Mount River, and then log in cargo stuff. So I think what I will do is then Royal. So do I want this somewhere? Because I have got to come this way, so I have to do different pickups and drop offs at some point. I think. Or do I just always make sure I've got my Lodestar with me? You know? And that's an off-road trailer. That's free. I... Mm. Take it, take it back with us, take it back with us. I was just going to dump it. I think we'll take it back. Because I need to take the crane off. I just want to move the service trailer. And then, and like, need it. That's what I'm thinking. But... could empty what I can out of the fuel trailer that needs moving and shift that somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, we use free trailers since um, Artboot does let us sell them. So we can just tell you when we're done with them. Yeah, this will be able to. 
I don't think this is for delivery anyway. I think this is just ours to keep. We've got a few parts on us for our toolbox. I'm hoping if I can be a little bit better with fuel here. Keep track of it. Keeping it all stored in one place probably ain't best, but... How much does... How much, I don't really use these. How much does that hold? That's 2,000. Okay. The other one is 18,000, I think. So it's 180 litres in it. So I'm now trying to think the best way to maybe whittle that down by. No, do no, do no. I'll probably ruin moving this. We have got things to do over there, I think. It depends on how and where we try to pull things through and from for the bigger deliveries. What I like to try and do is, if I can, work out of um, Mountain River anyway, because it obviously connects to everyone. Rather than working out of here or um, White Valley. But some things are only available here, some things are only available in White Valley. But if we've got fuel at the garage and we always come in along the eastern road I think the stuff that we come to get later on is down at the port anyway and logs so we'll move fuel to the log and camp when we do logs anyway and we'd pass the garage on our way to the port that's where we're picking up from So it's like episode 11, already worried about what we're done with my fuel. We not probably left the first map yet. And again, I know I'm not making it easy for myself by still trying to do everything with the Royal when we do have more capable vehicles in, in the garage to pull through. I just want to give the Royal a good shout. Give it a good showing. Because it is more capable than I think sometimes it gets shown. Same as my fleet star. Let's give some of these underdogs a, a good ruin. I was in low plus already. I didn't realize I was in auto. Well, that tree was firmer than I was expecting it to be. That's nice.
for the life of me, I can't recall how much I've taken out here. I don't think it's a lot, so it probably is. <laughs> That's how things work. I don't think it's a great deal, so it'll all be gone. Ooh, more than I thought. Yeah. Right, so if we stop faffing about, right. Then come on, there we go. Fill me up again. Maybe in the way. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe in the way. crane off this one. So go and turn it a bit of a logistics session today. Just how it is sometimes. So then I wanna crane off. Yeah it is standard colour. Oh should we give it its um flames flame on why not right leave so then we've got that fuel trailer there so i'm going to pull this trailer i'm not going to deliver it yet i'll just i'll leave it parked up here somewhere so we can still take a little off it if we need to Then once it's down to like 200, we'll, we'll drop it off. And then if need be, I guess I could always put that on the trailer here as well. Oh, I should say, why aren't we going? Get in the garage, your wheel drive is off. Here are recovery, whatever they're called, recovery repair trailer. We could bring that up to the top if need be. It's got fuel and parts in. I'll just leave the big tank when I go and get it down at the, at the garage. again I get it we are using fuel to move fuel <laughs> to try and save fuel it makes no sense until I can really get the logistics down of this stuff it never will um, but because <laughs> I've not been to any of the other maps really like I say I'm still in Kula Peninsula on my console um, and we've seen a little bit of Tennessee other than that I haven't got any logistical ideas of what we're doing anywhere. The only way I've seen the other maps, and that's very few of them, is through watching um, Wessel on Wheels, really. A little bit of Tripod Cars, a little bit of Nathan Province, but mainly Wessel.
even with good fall planning, I think I make way too many mistakes. So things would still go wrong. I feel like we've had like an excessive amount of daylight today. We must be going 30 minutes. Here, just up the road. So, oh, I'm not, I'm not attached to it, am I? Right. So it has 500. So I'm not even going to take a lot out of it when I when I do keep coming past and stuff, but. Let's go grab the big trailer. So I want next. Bring the big trailer back somewhere useful. Remember, we only <laughs> only have ninety seven liters of fuel left in. Michigan, 1970. That is too embarrassing. I think on where I've um, sort of skipped forwards a little bit and watching um, Wesley in um, Tennessee to see if he get popping his trucks like I do, and he does, so that's all right. Um, yeah, I think he reached Tennessee before. Yeah, that's where he ran out of his fuel reserves from Michigan and Alaska. Like he he got to season ten, so that's with the three base maps, thirteen maps in before he ran out of fuel reserves. That is fuel reserves in in, in North America. I, I've run out of fuel reserves <laughs> in map two. <laughs> this is going to be an expensive series. That's why I've got to try and make do with the trucks that I find and not necessarily bringing trucks through or buying anymore. But we have to buy in Russia because we don't have a truck for Russia. I think in our garage we have uh, one. Do we have at least one Chevy C Gay that we can sell? Maybe I don't know. Like I could pretty much sell all my Scouts, other than my Land Rover and my um, my Load Star, because they're what I'm going to use. So that that can be that can be petrol money, there that can be gas money. I know in Time Air 
we are going to get a couple of vehicles. We'll get three. We'll get three scouts. We'll get two. Um, uh, two of the Tuz tanks. I forget what their name is now. Tartarin. We'll get two Tartarins because there's one with the the Rift DLC as well in there, or the expansion that came with the season season one when they expanded um, time here. The Rift didn't wasn't there in the original release. That that was extra. Um, so you do get two Tartarins, so we can we can definitely sell a Tartarin. I think they're worth a probably worth nearly a hundred grand, if not more. I mean, there's two of them. We could sell both both Tartarins and and get the the modded um, JME uh, version will allow us to do a little bit more. So there is always that op oh, we'll go. There is always that option as well. So I wanted to try and do some mod stuff and do things a bit different. So that is one option we have. How much fuel have I come around here to get? 100 litres. What a joke. Right. So this is the equivalent of a scout. <laughs> a scout trailer in here. Just a little bit more. And those maps will come to obviously that'll have more duplicates of scouts and I don't think we'll get duplicates of trucks. Maybe a second white west I think one of the maps has a second white western star. So yeah there's that. Let's try to think where money can be made other than just jobs. We have there's a a cat vehicle, um, not like the one we've got here. It's one. It's, it's just so bad. Um, it's it's in the game just for one particular job. It's for doing um like rock deliveries, and that's it. It can put a fuel tanker on it, but it's it's less than other fuel tankers. So I guess that's something that I could sell when I should I ever get. That's the thing. Should I ever get there? So I'm uh, always thinking about what we're going to do in the future. But I can't plan out what we're going to do here, and that uh, that future is like months and months and months away. I might even try and um, oh dear, shuffle that fuel about and see if I can just deliver that trailer as well, actually. Let's 
like 500 and something litres in, hasn't it? So if I, if I empty me into my container, and then refuel me, that'll take half of it. Which is pretty much then when it needs to be delivered. Give or take about 30, 40 litres. And then that'll be another job ticked off. And we do like ticking off jobs. To give us a sense of progression. for a minute or two. Hey, hey, hey. There we go, there we go. Let it run away with us a bit. Oh, look at that, that's nice. A moon like that, that's cool. Just getting the uh, <laughs> the world to go straight line sometimes seems a challenge with how bouncy it is. Bounce from one one rivet and divot to another, picking a different line each time. So, if I take from you to me, and then all of me in there, Bugger. You absolute bugger. <laughs> Needs to be 200 litres because it's a... There. Wait up. Oh, 
four leaves. Never mind. Right. We'll let it have its 60. We'll let it have its 60. Two and a half grand for that. Hundred and seventeen grand. I mean, we've got a lot of money still to make here. We don't need to focus on the cash. We need to focus on the fuel because we've got no fuel to make. I'll refill myself fully. And that still leaves us with over a thousand in there, so that's not too bad. Again, I think sometimes it'll be better off just parking up and filling this up with fuel, maybe. I don't know. Have I opened that gateway yet? I haven't, no. So, I think I had. Things often seem so long ago, I forget what I have and haven't done. I think we've got about 10 minutes left, so we'll uh, get this back to our garage, park it somewhere nicely. I'll put the crane back on here, and then we'll jump in the longhorn and try and get that back to the garage and put the high saddle on it, so that it can then go out and pull the um, the big, the big and Oh, there's another big fuel trailer as well down at the dock, isn't there? And that one's full of fuel. That was just the one I should have brought back to the garage, not this one. Never mind. I'll have all my fuel together. At least there'll be that. All the fuel for me. But we still have to go down to the dock to do things, but I think if we can... When we come in, we always go this route. We can always fill up the fuel from our garage. I think in um, in Mountain River there's there might be two two sort of what I call regular fuel trailers um, plus some scout ones I actually don't want to pull that in yet I'm just going to park this on the side I'm just going to pull it into the garage but yeah, I'm just going to leave it here yeah That's all I want, that's all I want. Because if I park all the way in, I've still got a 
pull it out again to uh, do other things. So, so I'll leave it on the roadside. We'll scoop everything up near the end. Um, where are we at now? Ooh, level 25. I didn't even think about what level we were at. So customization. And we'll just pull that back on. So I need to get a trailer ready. Let's be able to find my trailers. So we want off roads. So I mean, so like. Like these, these are good. The, although the, the, the collision is there, it's one long straight one, so it's not a snag on anything. But they're a bit wide, I find. I think for later maps, they're much better. There is another one that's free. Somewhere. <laughs> Too many trailers. Where is it? Off the road. Wait, yeah. Let's try again. I'll edit this out. There we go. Found it. I don't know why. Can't read sometimes, but yeah, I'll try and remember to cut that out. You don't need to see that. Right, so we have a little bit of time, so we need to get the long horn back and we need to put a high hitch on it. I feel like I've been um, quite quiet this one. Um, if you don't like that style, I do apologise. So I've been trying to get things done and you know, when, when we're just moving fuel around, there's not much to talk about of the delivery. Just my thoughts and plans on the future is what I tend to go through. And that's the future, like I keep saying, it's future so far away. Lovely turn and, <laughs> turn and circle. Just want to change the saddle. My saddle. Put a little cargo on the back. That big old truck just pulled a single, mate. Just pulled a single. <laughs> I check every time I come in there. There is not suspension for it. You should wait until you see me try and pull a big trailer with it. <laughs> you don't want to miss the next episode. You do not want to miss the next one. See, all this shuffling about and doing stuff has um, sort of lined things up nicely that we'll be ready to go on the big boy. Straight out the 
out the gate next time. Hopefully I've got the thinking cap on for that one. I'll make sure I'll have some coffee beforehand. Uh, that probably won't get recorded if for me until next week. Because this is the the only day my partner has off work this week where we've not got things going on. And after I've recorded this one, I need to write an eulogy. So, busy times. And then the next two days we have off are for my old man's funeral. And then the day off afterwards, which I'm not going to want to be sitting down and recording. But that is it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was a little bit of fuel shuffling, but we did we did still get three jobs done in that, which is, you know, more than we did last episode when we were super busy last time. So it's just how it goes, swings and roundabouts. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.